what is going on guys welcome back to the channel panthers advice today man we're going to take a look at bryce young and geno smith and there's a couple reasons we're going to look at this comparison the first one is dave canales helped out geno smith a lot if you don't believe me let's look at the numbers real quick rookie year for geno smith 12 touchdowns 21 interceptions 12 touchdowns 21 interceptions sophomore year 13 touchdowns 13 interceptions didn't really get another chance until 2022, and who was the guy who helped him out? That was Dave Canales, where Geno Smith threw for 30 touchdowns and 11 picks. 30 touchdowns and 11 picks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at Geno in 2022 when he was with Dave in Seattle, and we're going to look at Bryce's rookie year. What I've put together are plays where both of them have similar formations. Now, obviously, defensively, the coverages won't be the same, right? But there's a few things I want you guys to look at. Let's jump into the film room and go from there. All right, guys. Now we're in the film room. Like I said before, I tried to find similar formations between Bryce Young and Geno Smith. Let's talk about play number one right here. I'm not as much focused on the reads when it comes to Bryce as I am the footwork, right? Take a look right here. Geno does a great job. First thing he's going to do is look at the tight end. The tight end gets picked up by the backer right here, right? Bang, that's picked up. Next read, he's watching this backer. Does he go up and pick up the receiver? If he does, bam, go to the running back. But as you're going to see, backer picks up the running back. What does Gino do? Bam, hits his receiver on the outside. Good stuff. But what I want to focus on here is how fast Gino opens up his body, right? He gets the ball, one step, bam, his body's open, right? He can make the throw to the tight end, bang, the receiver or the running back. Now let's jump to Bryce, and I'll show you guys the difference right here. So now as we look at Bryce, it's not the exact same formation, right? Because the Seahawks weren't running stacked over here, and the running back would have been over here. The same concept would have still applied. Running back, little flat route, bang right there, and then bang right there, right? Same thing, find the opening, right? But again, what I want to focus on is Bryce's footwork. So take a look. Once he gets the ball, as you can see, he does not open up his hips, right? Let another step go, bang. Still hasn't opened up his hips, right? Let it go again. All right. He slowly opened up his hips, but look how close his legs are together. He can't throw off that back foot if his legs are that close, right? Take a look what happens. He still makes a good throw to Adam, finds the right guy. All right, guys. Now we're going to jump to play number two. A little RPO out of the pistol. Let Gino roll out of the pocket a little bit. I like this a lot. Let's break down why. So as you're going to see, once the ball is snapped, bang, bang, they're on the RPO. Both the backers are going to come up, bang, bang. Tight end's going to come off the line, boom, all the way across, right? They bid on the RPO. Then watch the center right here. He's going to pull, pick up play side, and basically stop this edge guy from coming in. That's going to allow Gino to roll out, make an easy throw. Take a look what happens, bang, bang. He rolls out, easy throw right there. Now let's take a look at Bryce and the pistol. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at the Panthers running an RPO out of the pistol, right? As you can see right here, nothing's open. But let's say Bryce were to roll out. Would anything have been open? Let's take a look real quick. Since Bryce is sitting in the pocket, this defender right here doesn't have to move. If Bryce were to roll out, it would force this defender to go down. And then Bryce could either try for Hayden Hurst, even though that defender's on him, or go for Ian Thomas with the mismatch. Let me know what you guys think. Let's jump to the next play. Before we jump to the next play, I did want to go in there and add, the reason I'm showing Bryce has the RPO compared to Geno is that you can see the play call was made for Geno to go outside and use his feet. With Bryce, you kept him in the pocket. Bryce is a mobile quarterback. Let that man run. I think Dave can help him. Let's continue the video. All right, guys. Now we're going to jump to the red zone. Now here's the thing to watch. Gino immediately doesn't open up his hips, right? He doesn't immediately do it. Now it's pretty quick, right? Take a look. It's pretty quick, but he doesn't want to let the defense know if they're sitting in zone that he's going to this side. So he doesn't do it right away, right? Then he opens up his hips. Bam, finds his guy. Good stuff right there. Now let's look at Bryce in the red zone. So now we're going to look at Bryce in the red zone. Take a look right here. He gets the ball, opens up his hips, bam, perfect, right? The only thing, right? The only thing is take a look at his lead foot right here. Look where that's pointed. It's going this way. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried to throw the ball with your foot basically going backwards. It's not easy to do. And the fact that Bryce makes this throw is pretty impressive. And the fact he's done what he's done is impressive if his footwork gets worked out guys i'm telling you whew, you're gonna see a different quarterback next year i like that he opened up his hips made the right read we just have to get that footwork worked out let's check out the next one all right guys and now we're gonna take a look at the quarterbacks in an empty spread take a look right here 
So right here, Juno does a great job, reads the DB, watches Horn, bite on Metcalf for a second, then bam, hits his receiver, right? Now take a look at Bryce right here. So now as we take a look at Bryce, this was probably one of my favorite throws from him this year, right? A little bit of a struggle to get the Saints DB to bite, and then bam, hits Mingo, I believe, over the top. Let's run this back real quick. Watch Bryce. Bam, look at that. Acts like he's going to that flat route right there. DB comes up, like I said before, the Saints love to play that cover too. Next thing you know, Bryce hits Mingo, boom. Look at that throw. Watch when Bryce releases this ball. Take a look real quick. He's going to release it right here. Mingo hasn't even turned around yet. Hasn't even turned around yet. Like I said before, this was probably one of my favorite throws from him this year. He opens up his hips. Footwork looks good. Gets the DB to bite. Good stuff. Let's keep this thing going. All right, guys. We're approaching our last part. Right here, going to the Seahawks attacking the cover four. They got trips on the left. Gino does a great job, opens up his hips, and then bam, lets that thing rip, right? Again, Seahawks attacking that cover four. First person to watch is Lockett. What does Leonard do right here? As you're going to see, Leonard's going to make contact, and then bam, he's going to go back, sit in that zone. When that happens, this middle safety right here, he's going to pick up Lockett. Well, when he does that, this safety right here has no inside help. So when Metcalf does his move, take a look, goes out, bam, comes back in, no inside help, Easy throw for Gino, and then look at his stance right there. He lets that thing rip. Bam. Let's it rip. Now let's jump to Bryce. Similar formation. You got trips over there on the left. Running back in the backfield. All right, he's going to hit Adam right here. So let's take a look how fast it takes him to open up his hips once the ball is snapped, right? Take a look right here. One step, two step, three steps. Still hasn't opened up his hips, guys. Still hasn't opened them up. Now he's going to complete the pass to Adam right there. Good stuff. But I want to show you guys a clip and show you guys the difference in ball speed when the hips are open. So the clip I'm going to show you guys is a combination of the last two plays. Right here, you got Geno hitting Metcalf in the end zone, right? They beat the cover four. Right here, Bryce is going to hit Adam. Now, I'm going to let these go at the same time. I want you guys to watch how fast each ball gets there. Now, with that being said, keep in mind how far each receiver is from the quarterback. So Adam's about, what, 16 yards, give or take. You got three yards right here. 40 to the 50, that's another 10 yards. Let's add another three, so you have 16 yards right here. But then you look at Gino to Metcalf, the end zone alone is 10 yards, right? So Gino's going to hit Metcalf about 6, 7 yards in from the 20. So that's about a 26, 27-yard throw, right? So we're going to let it go. We're going to pause it right about here. Bam, Adam's going to catch it. Now, yes, Metcalf doesn't have the ball, but remember, Gino was almost 10 yards farther back and almost got the ball to Metcalf in the same amount of time. It's all about footwork. If Bryce can get that figured out, guys, we're going to have one hell of a season next year. Let me know what you guys think. A lot more content coming soon. If there's anything you guys want me to produce, drop it in the comments. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.